Never had knee surgery. This is it. I get a straight air in the half pipe, landed. Landed pretty perfect, kind of high tranny. My patella hurt. Physio checks out my knee and he says that I blew my knee, which uh, made no sense to me because it didn't hurt. I had full range of motion, no swelling. It was freakish. Couldn't believe it. And um, I think that put some things into perspective. I don't know, I think it might be good for me. Might be the thing that I needed to get my stoke back, get that fire back. Say I'm pretty competitive. I mean, if I can win at it, I try to win at it. Simon Dumont set to drop in. This kid has pretty much won everything. Competitive energy that is impossible to stop. This entire season has been really different for me. I had some really good friends pass away, and it's just been one of those seasons of evaluation, I guess. I need to figure out why I'm skiing, why I'm still doing it, and I just want to make sure that I'm doing it for the right reasons. I learn a lot more when I have somebody to feed off. It's just a good vibe when somebody lands something, everybody's stoked. I don't know, I think that feeds me and feeds everybody else. And um, I think if everybody's skiing well, I think we'll, we'll get the best things. Growing up in Maine has helped with my skiing. It's usually pretty icy here, so it's not that forgiving when you fall. You really get those basics of laying an edge down, because I mean, it's icy, so I mean, I can correlate that to like a half pipe. If you drop into a half pipe, it's super icy. You gotta lay down a really good edge, and um, I think you learn that here on the East Coast. I wanted to hold the Dumont Cup here because I think it's hard to kind of get noticed being on the East Coast. I know there's a lot of really good talent over here that might not have the money to be able to go to either, you know, a Colorado, Utah, or anything of that nature. So I decided to bring a cool contest over here, bring really high caliber athletes and a high caliber course, just so some kids can either, you know, know where they are in the grand scheme of things, or if, you know, they're not even trying to be professional skiers, at least they can come watch some really good skiers and now. Uh, I think that it shows that a lot of us professional athletes are a little bit more attainable than actually human beings rather than just these people that are out on the west coast so far away from all the time. I just wanted to create something cool, give all these kids a good opportunity to at least come out and have a good time, shake some hands and see some really good skiing. For this year I wanted to focus on doing a little bit more web content. Network A gave me my own YouTube channel, obviously my knee got hurt, but before that I filmed a Cool little thing in Austria. It's a little different than anything I've ever done. It wasn't really action filled, it was more just a week in the life of Simon, going to Austria, doing some poster signings, hanging out with some ski sponsors, hanging out with friends, going apre, and just um, having a good time. It was way different than anything I've ever done. This is my year of reflection to just uh, hang out, have some fun, hang out with some good people, remember why I'm skiing, and then um, hopefully uh, get all that energy to um, train real hard and go to the Olympics and um, hopefully take home a medal for the right reasons.
for Bobby Brown. I want to go into a contest and I want to win. I had no clue free skiing had this much potential. It's pretty unreal. Two goals in one weekend? What? Oh my gosh.